Five tips building SSTOs. Number one, building space planes. It is imperative that you understand the relationship between your center of mass and center of lift throughout different levels of fuel. Be mindful that your aircraft will be tugged in the direction of the blue arrow and how that might affect your aircraft's stability. Check the description for a link to my five tips building space planes for more general airplane construction tips. And always remember to start small and scale your ideas up to larger aircraft. Number two, the shift key. While in the space plane hangar, hold down shift, and while you scroll your mouse wheel, you'll pan up and down. You can also hold down shift and right click to pan around the room. These buttons can be useful, getting into nooks and crannies and attaching struts. If you need to move your spacecraft, holding down shift while you click any part will let you move it around the room. This can be useful not having to hunt down your root or starting part to move your vehicle. You can also use the offset and rotate buttons with this. Number three, wings. It can be a good idea to build your wings with a common root part. While this isn't always necessary, it will help you later being able to fine tune your center of lift easily with the offset button. Number four, landing tests. Scale up from small hops off the runway. Observe how your aircraft handles and add struts to eliminate flopping. Wing tanks and landing gear should be reinforced with struts to give you stability when you're landing. When testing your aircraft, keep in mind there are many variables, including human error. You should always do your test many times and be sure and check the F3 log for details as to what happened first. Checking the log will let you know in what order parts failed and can really help cut down your trial and error time with new designs. Remember to repeat these tests with low levels of fuel because when your aircraft comes back from space, it will be mostly drained. Number five, trimming weight. Once you have a working airplane that can make decent altitudes but isn't quite cutting it, your next phase should be cutting weight from the vehicle. It's often easier to remove parts to gain altitude than to redesign. Don't hesitate to make radical changes to your design, saving it as a new spacecraft. You can always backtrack and do the designs that work better. Experiment removing engine weight from your aircraft. This is often key to making your aircraft fly higher. Experiment removing fuel tanks and engines, any extra weight, and be sure to save your vehicle so you can backtrack if your ideas don't work out. Thanks for watching and join me next time for 5 Tips Flying SSTO.